good shot of that. And then they're playing in the final, and then suddenly TI invites start to just bounce up in their head. Yeah. Long way to go, though. It is being down right now, this one game. They're one game away from elimination. It's, it's a tough mental battle. Lots ahead of them, though. It's all plenty late, to, plenty so to like play for as we head into draft number two. I think this team has enough self-confidence to completely ignore the fact that they're down a game, though. Mm. I don't think that's something that flusters them particularly. No, well, we've seen them make many comebacks yeah. from one game down and win best of threes 2-1 plenty of times. Definitely a dangerous team to be playing right now. Complexity Enigma ban out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was thinking it, it really thing was out of nowhere as well. Off. Enigma is like that hero when so you're about to lose. There's a wisp in the pool now. There's still the life stealer. There's a wisp. There's a yeah, I'm expecting slava. wisp to be either banned or picked very early here. Yeah, I think it's a bait both from Navi. Like, both teams like that hero. Uh, it's seconds, probably a bait from Navi, right? You, as if you're complexity right now, you sort of want to ban out the life stealer. And by banning time. out the Enigma, it's also a pretty good counter for the wisp in black holing the area that he TP's in on or relocates to. So. Dandy face versus swindle face. Swindle face. Complexity are taking some they time here. It. Yeah, they're scared of the wisp. Navis, they respect it. Pick. It's gonna be the hard style ancient. I, I, I can feel a Chen pick coming here. It's, he's, he's gonna redeem yeah. himself from earlier. Complexity's turn to pick. He's thinking how he's gonna set it up. Trust me, guys. Trust me. That, uh, that Enigma ban, being out of nowhere, does that give Complexity any information as to what maybe Na'Vi are going to end up picking? Ten seconds remaining. I don't necessarily think so. I think kind of what Bambo said at the on point. Yeah. You, you, you feel like you're one game away, you know. We've seen Z Freak, he's played as Enigma, he's done very well with the hero. And maybe they're planning, you know, they have some... Why not just bring out this Enigma in a series and get a game with it and then just... Preemptively, Navi just ban it. Just remove this hero from the equation, you know. Maybe Navi feel like, well, their first pick, they don't really have any special heroes that they want to ban aside from the Darks here. So and they feel like they have a free ban because maybe they know that uh, Complexity are going to be forced to ban the Wisp. So Five they just have this one free ban and then just target it at one of the heroes that Complexity play well with. So Void Phoenix. The classic Navi Phoenix Void. Interesting that they, on the Dire side, just completely ignore the Slaughter pick that we've seen being picked throughout the tournament. Well, maybe, maybe they feel, feel like the same as Na'Vi did when they could pick it up second did the same thing, right? They would just yeah. go for the face of Void and the Slark and not care about Slaughter. Five seconds remaining. I mean, not everyone likes Slaughter that much. No. Yeah. Don't think OG plays Reserve that much time. with Slaughter either. It has to fit your team. Lycan. Yeah. Ooh. We really like him pick here. Now he wants to go home. They won the fast <laughs> game. <laughs> you, you, you really think that's what there's on their minds right now? I mean, I think that's a great pickup, especially because yeah, I think so too. they can already force a, a pretty decent push. And having two bands now to eliminate what they're most, most worried about, probably a death profit. Five seconds remaining. Navi could go into something like the Invoker this game. They just run the double book strat with those two heroes, and even like either way, cross cross X or Exhort, still be great. They'll have a lot of pushing power. But I feel like they need to ban the X now, though. Oh yeah, Complexity yeah, do run X a bit. Yeah, there Complexities is. turn to ban. Good call. Thank you. And the Death Prophet. Who do you who banning Death Prophet? Navi bans Death Prophet. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm on board with that. So if you're complex right now, do you ban out the Enchantress or the Vengeful Spirit? I would, I would actually give them Enchantress and then pick Klinks against it. Five seconds. Pick what against Klinks. 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 I think it fits Klinks really well. Pushed. Fits really well with the Void and it just gonna get booked. And yeah. It's book. yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's hard to play Klinks. I think the Vengeful, Sp Vengeful Ban was the right one to do though. That death push. Would be too strong. Call needs something to kill the, the minions. They actually ban out the alchemist instead of the death prophet. Yeah. They just don't want the game to be delayed for that long. This acid spray, radiance, alchemists, just slowing down the push, killing off books, and you know it's hard yeah, yeah. for Navi to siege with these melee heroes. Ten Does Complex have a Thinker remain. player? A DK player? Thinker. Tinker. Uh, Five seconds. I don't know remain. actually. I, I think Tinker would also. Yeah, yeah Tinker would, would be a good nice pick for them. 
reserve time. It actually wouldn't be too bad for Navi either. With, well, like, with all the invis summons. Yeah. That's true. You can TP around on the hawk as well. And the wolves. Sea Freak seems like such a nice guy. I didn't get to say that after the uh, initial interview before the game. He is totally nice guy. Yeah, he's totally yep. nice. Yeah. Yeah, very cool guy. We, uh, oh, we hung out a little bit at the karaoke at the end of the major. And he can even sing a bit. That is good for delaying. Yeah, well, it depends. He has to, like, get off first. He has to get the initial levels. Complexity's draft looks very OG esque. It is OG, remaining. like, exactly. Yeah. Now need a juggernaut, safe lane. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Or a Magnus, maybe? Both? A Magnus, no, Ma Magnus would be so killer. <laughs> With See, a... Navi are remembering their games against OG <laughs> right now. <laughs> See the yeah. reminiscent draft. Complexities. They are definitely warming up to it. Tinker or Magnus? DP is still an option. Yeah. Isn't it better for Navi, the DP? Simple so. They have quite a lot of options, uh, Navi pick. here. Timber saw this time for complexity. They had so many options for complexity. I think both Mag and Death Prophet would have been great picks in, in combo with what they had. I think the Timber Saw has just proven to be really strong right now. Is it a mid Timber? But I feel like this Timber Saw isn't going to do much. Yeah, the Lycan and the Beastmaster the just sends his minions on him. Like yeah. he's out of mana in like one second. Five seconds remaining. It's kind of troublesome for Timber Saw to play without mana. Yeah. A Mag and then into a Phantom Assassin pick is something I would have liked to see. Even Juggernaut is fine, I think. But the new PA with Empower. Mm. We've seen a couple. Hasn't been prevalent here. It hasn't we've seen, worked we've out that well no, so far. No, it hasn't really worked out yet. Oh, I think people are still figuring it out. Composition wise, anyway. I'd say Invoker for Dendi if you go yeah. Crosswax. Yeah. yeah. They can literally do nothing on complexity. Literally nothing. It's game over. Oh. Okay. Turn to we do get a tinker game. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> we're in for a long one. <laughs> this could go late. Yeah, unless one team dominates, this could actually just go very, very late. Ten seconds remaining. I mean, now we have the potential of winning this game really fast if Five the Lycan and the Beastmaster remaining. get off to a good start. And this tinker, tinker is known for defending but Reserve Tinker can also time. be very good at sieging. Yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. throw out missiles and you put down this march and it's very hard to run into it. You just take towers. And yeah, and, you, and you, you, you sort of force the her. Phoenix to either egg in a bad position or yeah. go now back and heal. This beast also playing against the Phoenix Elder Titan. He should like get an early necro. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Last bands picks Bambo. I don't know. Complexity draft looks so Reserve weird to me. <laughs> I'm gonna ban out the power. Navi's turn to pick. Navi need a support. Just some some casual witch doctor disruptor. Lion. Yeah, something along those lines. Even a bounty Ten would be nice for them. Remaining. Hmm? A bounty? Would they go Chen, Navi? Would they do that? Chen's bound. And Chen's bound. Chen would have gone. Yeah, would have gone. Yeah. Almost certainly would have gone to Chen. Reserve time. Yeah, at this stage, I think Witch Doctor, with what they probably want to do, is probably the best. Shadow Shaman could work. Actually, Shadow Shaman is probably what they're going to go with. Considering how successful he was with it in uh, in the last game against Virtus Pro, he probably has a lot of it's art style drafting. He yeah. played the Shadow Shaman as well. He's probably got a lot of confidence in that roster pick. I 
It's also a bounty though. I think we will secure the game. You will set up the rockets as well with this track. I'm not sure he's gonna level fast enough. He should be fine. Thank you. Okay. Out of left field. I could have guessed for 30 heroes and none of them would have been the same thing. Absolutely. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it a couple of times at the Major. Ten seconds remaining. So it is Five the uh, counter remaining. to Chronosphere. Oh, you Chrono? I up you one with Epicenter. Reserve time. We're looking at a carry here for complexity. Yes, I like carry or mid. I think they play gyro. safely in Timber as well. Could it be the gyro? Could say good control with, of the game with the gyro that rotates early. I wish he doesn't just like and run at you. He does, but if you can take control of the game early on, if you can come out on top of the lanes and this gyro gets fast, S and Y, BGB, he can run at them. It's gonna be hard for them to close the game though, regardless. It's the second bucket, Tiny. Again, trading back, if they picked that Magnus instead of the Timber Sword, they could have gone for an anti mage as well. Yeah. I wonder if they caught Queen of Pain. Okay. Draft done then. Jacob, uh, a very unorthodox uh, draft from both teams. So which one do you favor? I am slightly leaning towards Complexity's lineup, actually. Brilliant. I think it has a bit of everything that they can, they can constantly fight, okay. I'd say. They have enough team fights to sustain them through the entire game. Okay. Bamba? Very quickly. I think Navi, 25 minutes. Navi, 25 minutes. Bike out, final word. Wow, that Navi is 25 very minutes. specific. Cool. Yeah, uh, I think uh, I called Navi for the series, so I'm going to go with Navi. Okay. And I think their draft is, it makes more sense. All right, okay. With uh, the sinking pick. Couple with Navi. Bar One with sinking. complexity. Let's find out whether they're right as we head into game number two. Let's go back to the commentary team. Welcome back, everybody. Complexity versus Na'Vi, game number two. Boys, we have ourselves a draft. We have ourselves a Dendi Tinker. We've got dogs. We've got, I don't know how you describe a Saiyan King, crustaceans. Uh, who do you think has got the advantage of the draft? I just, I kind of like the Na'Vi situation where they're going to have, like, Tinker Buta, Tinker Buta travel, and he can go to, like, both the Wolves as well as the Hawk. Honestly, both drafts are different enough that or really it's just Navi's draft that is like kind of different enough that I'm not really confident calling uh, a draft win one way, the, one way or the other so I'm gonna we, 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 see we could always here. we could always play the blitz game like and, the original blitz game was blitz? You, that you gotta you gotta pick the win time for the team after you see the draft I think Navi will win the game at 67 minutes. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what PyCat was saying when he was like, <laughs> Na'Vi, 25 minutes? They have a tinker. I mean, the pushing power, if it was like some other like tempo controlling mid that was like super aggressive, uh, I could see them winning by 25 back. minutes because they have like an Anna Beastmaster, right? Oh, obviously, PyCat is backing the No March Machines build over on Tinker. Yeah, I think he's just maybe. being hopeful so we have an early night. <laughs> <laughs> like there's, you know what's going to happen, right? You're going to send Wolves in, then Timbersaw is going to use whatever the voice line is for Timber when he throws out Chakram to irritate you, and then it just resets the game over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> the complexity trying to do the push, then you hear, march, march, march. Yeah, it's just these machine-based heroes. <laughs> yeah, then we reset and we come back and do it all again next summer. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, this is, I, I like complexity's draft. It's just, I'm not sure how the Tinker plus Lycan, it seems kind of a weird combination to have both heroes. I think it's more just it was a good tinker game overall. Yeah. Like, uh, you can have a lot of impact in a game like this. I do like that they're doing the timber off lane. I don't think it's good all the time. I remember I was talking to you about this, but in games like this where you know you're going to be against a weak safe lane, why not? Yeah, and the reason Swindles knows he has a weak safe lane is because the Navi picked up a greedy four position in the Sand King who wants to be able to stack and then uh, farm with Sandstorm. And he's going to apparently have the backup of Z Freak. Elder Titan, very common, is going to be adding uh, aggro. Z Freak with how being applied. Z Freak's actually in trouble right now. Commits the very fire, but there's enough damage from Navi. They'll take the kill. Hearthstone very early poison touch and goodbye Zebrick. 
That's just a true brotherly play. You know, Z Freak tanking the, the first blood that Swindles would have inevitably United. tanked. So uh, he's just kind of raising the spirits of his captain, you know? Man, that's, I uh, get it out of the way early. <laughs> just, somebody has to die, guys. Move on, move on, shake it off. <laughs> you know, you know Complexity wants people to move on from that. They're sick of being labeled actually as the brothers team. They want to be nah, that's something too bad. Else. Maybe they shouldn't be brothers. Dude, that's, <laughs> yeah, let me just deny my heritage. <laughs> I mean, maybe they should split the, the four of them up then. Maybe, which would you take of the two brothers? If you could choose one of the Swedes and one of the Americans. I would take... I'm a sensitive guy, so I would take Swindles. Because nobody flames anybody else on complexity. Yeah, yeah that's it's a very thing. team. It's because he's so outspoken. Uh huh. And and which one do you take, Chessy or Limp? Uh, probably Limp, just because he's a tiny player. And there aren't many of those. <laughs> All right. How about we help bring this game back right out of the game and turn to Z Freak? So they go again with the Howl damage. Z Freak dies first. Down. They're oh. gonna find another the one. Oh, the you making it to the tree line. Swindles is trying to chase him down. Come on, you gotta kill our style. He's dead. What do you do? It's a rock and a hard creep. Yeah. All right. I'll well, take your tribute. they trade one for one. Swindles is still getting. Well, actually, he's gotten very little CS, but at least they can put pressure on Ditchy Raw while the supports are away. Jesse's having a good time up at top as well, just because the Beastmaster is having to deal with the Phoenix being really annoying to him, and eh, it's just kind of an overall okay situation for Complexity. Even though they fed the first blood, they're slowing down the farm of the Lycan somewhat, kind of. Yeah, S somewhat, kind of. And things are... Uh, gotta put things in good perspective. Like, I'm rooting for Complexity, so we have a Game 3. Not even by it, I just want to see a Game 3. Oh, you might get it if Denny can go down here in the mid as uh, Hanskin, under the cover of an Invis room, is coming up against the No March Tinker. There's no man out there. So moves forward. Uh, hey. The Sunray, you. Okay, that uh, turned off pretty early into an Icarus dive, and Dendi will waltz back to tower. Limp actually so low. Very far has to be committed. Snaker also on his way in. Wants the Hansky from getting the damage off with the Barra Strike. Snaker <laughs> being involved with the Ken Tinker is still going to go down. No! That's the rotation, but it's dead stop. Ends up killing up a Phoenix. The Sink Sand does burn. As Z Freak just has to wander around Snaker. I'm. That was the most confusing mid arrangement I've seen in a very long time. Man, that was like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. I thought Denny was going to live, and then all of a sudden, the, <laughs> the twist. turn, Z Freak's there, level two. Welcome to Plot Twist. <laughs> you thought I died earlier on in the movie. You thought I was the first blood over the back. Joke's on you, clowns. <laughs> <laughs> and Swindles is getting space. And it, once, like, once he gets level four, five, six, like he can really start putting the hurt in. Because like now the Sand King, like at level one, you can kind of threaten the Timber Saw, but that was sort of what the Elder Titan, he like he creates this buffer, allows the Timber Saw to be able to get the levels. And now level three, level four, like how does the Dazzle deal with that? Like he's got Poison Touch against a, an armor offlaner. And then you've got uh, physical damage strength hero uh, against an armor hero as well. There's no way they can threaten Swindles and, uh, and really Swindles can actually threaten them quite easily. I think it's a little bit hard just because he might as he might have missed his timing window when it comes to levels. Like this is still a relatively under level timber saw, and the lichen typically is going to be like within one level or a level behind. That's an ideal situation for the timber. But I mean, the lichen's in a fine position. You think so? I mean, he just had a f he has I think three waves coming in. Dude, did yeah, he's gonna top five. Top lane, general in trouble. The sun ray's gonna turn on. He's gonna dodge the sun. Chessy's gonna stick with him for now. And general, well, looks like he'd actually outrun the range of that sun ray. That's a kill if he hits the Icarus dive slow and the extra bit of damage, but not quite there. Do you remember it was Liquid versus Navi? I think where they had the off lane timber versus the safe lane like in solo. Uh huh. And nice that. kill on the ball. Snake just makes things happen. I don't really know how. Yeah. Sinking is not the the best like roaming ganking here in the world, just because Burrow strikes such a, a low range early on, but he manages to get the pick off on Quam. Well they kinda lost the vision. The cover of got deep water by Dendi about like a minute ago. Yeah. Stomp on bottom. Swindles does not want to initiate into that one. So what what, what was it about the timber style lichen? Oh, I was just gonna say, yeah, the lane sucks, but I think Deya Ra learned from that game, and he's going to apply it to this game. He's going to say, that lane sucked. <laughs> so <laughs> let's make it not suck. Mara Strike on Swindles, the Shadow Wave heal, the Wolves around him. Swindles! No! He can't survive, he ticks down. Z-Freak almost made no space with a stomp. You see what he did there? He goes to the jungle, 
He's picks like, up this some lane levels. sucks. Yeah, and he's like, Art Style, you take this. <laughs> Art Style picks up level four, and then they blow up Swindles. Yeah. Another thing is that um, Swindles, he he wasn't making sure to continually get that reactive armor. It's a little bit harder as an offlaner to do that, but part of the reason he took so much damage there is because his reactive armor stacks were uh, quite low. General? And that ultimately leads to him dying to the Dazzle last hit. General's making a break for the trees. They're going to oh, give it Chrono. Oh, actually boy. catches Limp in the middle of it. The bar is right. How is Sneaku here again? He's going up off the Hunskin, and the Beastmaster oh, finds the him. kill. So you get a one for one trade off. And so they go again. Right place, right time, right lane. I don't know how this little Scorpion keeps doing it. He's a king, man. Don't call him little. That's patronizing. <laughs> he just pops out. And Gets kills everywhere. Oh, like you're supposed to be farming the jungle with your sandstorm and stuff. But... That's the triple play. <laughs> you expect it. He's been stacking for the tinker. Yeah. And he's just been roaming. Yeah. Speaking, so is the speaking level three that. sandstorm just the extra level of mind games? Dude, he's level five right now. Like I don't know how anybody on this how this analyst tusk is doubting him right now. <laughs> That's a level two ET that was laning. Oh boy. General still having a pretty happy time at that top lane. It was never going to go well for them. Uh, the Faces Void and Phoenix. Uh, General? They can't zone him out. Z Freak's coming in from the rear. He's going to go for the stomp, but General, uh, he's just too fast. Z Freak can't get the stomp off. It's almost the old school problem of uh, Elder Titan. It's okay, though. He's just going to saunter away, but they really need to make something happen right now. Like, level 2 ET at 7 minutes is. Getting to the point where it's unsalvageable. You have to get this gank off onto Dendi. And Limp does have his ultimate available. This is going to be the timing for them. He One just, of the few opportunities. He has to hit the stomp, or. Yeah, he has to hit the oh. stomp. And he's got it. Yeah, stomp's going to kill. Connect. There's no blink. Sonic Wave. Okay. He has it on cooldown. The dive will come forward from Hanskin, but then the laser. Well, Virus Strike will be off mark from Snaker. The Z3 can leave the tower. No, no. He doesn't reach Dendi. He doesn't recover much. The machine Z3 taking so much damage as well. There's need a little bit of vision for Dendi's level 2 rocket. Oh, he's going to be made caught enough, by Hello, did it raw. Give a little bit more money over to, over to him. There's even a haster and he can pick up if he wants to. The rocket's flying in. Very fire consumption. He makes a break Dragons. for the ancients. Denied. Denied. No. no. Lycan will take the kill. No. <laughs> Man, things are just happening around the map not stop. Radiant They're going for more. Snaker so smokes up with Diddy Ra. They know Swindles is down here on the lane. He's got no reactive armor charges up. And snaker has got Epicenter available. Radiant's they just need to slow him down. The virus strike are barely off the mark. They don't have another stun available. And now they keep the chain going. Did he rise? There a stun. Two seconds, three seconds. It's too far. Snaker, a hopeful sandstorm. And Queen of Pain denied himself on the neutrals. Um, looks like Dendi with the haze rune was able to threaten him somehow, so he had to go for the suicide play. What? Why didn't he have blink though? He what used it there? to dodge the rockets, and it was oh. level one blink. So he, oh. he was trying to dodge the rockets, then he popped the regen, then he went back in for it, but. That was costly because he used the ultimate too, and they weren't able to get the kill. And that's supposed to be, like we talked about, that's the guaranteed kill. Yep. You have your level six on the Queen of Pain, you burst Tinker, you slow him down, but now Dendi's level eight, he doesn't really care. So Neko's just asserting his dominance by sandstorming everywhere. Dark light. And that is still, okay, it's a level three ET now, but not the position that you want to be in with the two supports on Cole. Like him just farming away in the jungle and he leaves our style of the lane. He's level seven. <laughs> yeah, not typically the the uh, the support that you're like, oh god, to get those levels on Dazzle, but if you don't want to have the Lycan in lane anyway, it works. It's funny because a lot of damage. Okay, Swindle's just chained forward. Hasta, there's a beautiful heal bomb he's prepped up because the wave is so big. But did he run? Triggers the howl, they're not gonna find a kill there. General's actually just waiting with Chessie on top lane. Support's rotating up with Snake He's ways for the bounty rune. Okay, it's something gonna be a bounty, not an action rune. Yeah, with uh, Epicenter, they can actually kill the pieces for it. Before the rotations, they like they have the stuns, they just don't have the damage. Now they actually do have the damage. A thousand HP is a lot. Snake uh, They need the roll. They hit the burrow strike, and then he epicenters, and then they primal roar chain stun. I think it's pretty close. No, I. I think a thousand. It's eleven hundred health, man, and a poor man shield with eleven armor. 13 armor when he switches. I think that's unlikely. Well, either way, we're not going to see it put to the test since uh, Void does manage to dodge it. Yeah, you get another hero, but actually, now we've got the complexity. Hanskin yeah. rotates the top. Uh, now it's not even a question. It's definitely not working if Hanskin's there with the Sunray. All right, I did the calculations for you, Cap. 
There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like point, how you don't even give me the bat. You're, you're yeah. just like, here's the conclusion. You're completely wrong. <laughs> just, I did, just trust me, I did it in my head. Listen, I'm not the only one wrong, all right? Navi thought it would work. Nice blitz goes out the window. I got you back really not. Dude, Seneco boss just walked into the lane and started sandstorming. He's like, I'm over this. <laughs> you know what that you know what that play is? Is when you're a support and you just kind of want to shove your off laner out of the lane. And you say, yeah, this can't go work. <laughs> <laughs> and secretly, you just want to be able to pick up the farm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, okay. Dude, Seneco almost has his blink dagger now. We've got a complexly smoke move right now. Z Freak and Chessie heading down past the bottom rune. Seneco's fine, he's just pulling the wave up. He's got General and Diddy Ra here, so this tier one tower stays in numbered. But complexly, they do the wraparound. They're coming again for Dendi. They're trying to slow down these BTs. So far, it seems to be working. Like, Seneco has more uh, net worth than Dendi does. Yeah, but that's, no, well, that's because Seneco's absurdly farmed. I don't think they necessarily have kept Dendi completely down. It's smoke's gonna break. The obsies are Dendi. He wants the stack, Chessie. Yeah. He'll commit the Kronos for the TP supports. They're not coming in. Z-Freak gonna go for the follow-up stop. Hey, actually, oh, that was way too close. <laughs> Can they actually take this? You commit Sonic Wave to stop this? No, no pass stars rotating over. They've already started the Shadow Wave on the heroes, so the armor is not that great at the moment. And the stomp again from Z-Freak, trying to create space, but Hallow is an echo! Looking to come in from the side, you got the Timber Chain forward from Swindles, but Swindles puts himself in the middle of the epicenter, and Chessie's there as well, Seneco hiding in the sand zone, Swindles chains away, but Astar's all over it. The Nova is going to crack out from Hanskin, but really ineffective up against the rest of Na'Vi. Who are just happy to keep battling. They're gonna find Hanskin on the hillside. And King of the Hill belongs to Snaker. And what a wonderful spot to sandstorm up. Okay. The stack, I was gonna say. But they kind of want that in the hands of Dendi. Yeah, he shouldn't take that. I mean, he, even the bars may think he's a greedy bastard and is trying to take farm from his off laner. But he's definitely not gonna take farm from his Tinker, especially when he's already got the Blink Dagger in hand. I like how Seneco just casually is in the right place for the pincer maneuver. Yeah. Comes from behind, gets both of them and the epicenter off. You saw him make the read too. He was like, the rest of his team goes down. He was like, nope, I'm going to catch them as they try and go through the river. Because that's their only escape at that point. Under attack. I think this game, the, the issue is that Dendi's still getting farm. He's got boots of travel now. Yeah. And complexity, you're almost trying to force it too much. Like they're trying to make things happen around the map because they feel pressured by nature of having a tinker in the game. That's how it just goes. Uh, Snaker, ready to go again. Limp, gonna blink himself over to the Aegis, into the arms of Diddy Ra. Uh, the Sunray is gonna turn up. Snaker can't blink up just yet, so they don't have their stun available. The wall's in the back, and there she is. Blink falls, shadow wave damage, and Limp's just got nothing to work with. They have fed a beast of Snaker. I know we're currently riding like the hype horse right now, Snaker, but he's everywhere and making plays. And now he goes again. Kills. On the Z Freak. But they won't have it. Actually, if they can get range for the raw, it's too late. He's gone. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I'm not sure. Limp is his plays are pretty questionable right now. You think he's getting frustrated right now? Yeah, maybe. I think after that first Sonic Dyer's wave. Ever since then, things have just been kind of going downhill. Because that should have been a kill for them. That would have been the levels that Z-Freak needed. It's like he's still jumped himself. Curtis V gonna go. Arstar's the primary target. But they may not kill him in time. The bar strike cancels Hanskin. Arstar gonna solve Grave. And Hanskin's already down. Z-Freak gets the stomp off. But the damage is still falling in with the force. They find the kill. d Run going one on two a little bit further up. But they turn around. They find Swindles in the tree line. It's 14-4 at the moment. Complexity. They're being torn to shreds. They're being wrapped without even a tight hunter on the field. All right, PyCat's a genius. 25 minutes, he was right. <laughs> no, <laughs> no they don't need to wait for the Tinker. I believe, guys. They're coming in again. TP forward, Z freaks the man there. Spirit looking for the stomp timing again as General waits around a little bit closer. The stomp's gonna oh, connect. Snake, and General, the Sonic Wave's gonna connect. General can't walk away. Snake blinks himself forward. And with a bar strike, Snake gonna try and TP out. He actually escapes. That should not be happening at the moment. And Arstar playing Ring Ring and Rosie. He can't get the Shallow Grave off in time. Was to be the play to go into the oh, TPR. Chessy. And Chessie, so Fire low, spirits. Dendi is. Fire spirits. No, no. Okay. Nine HP, he'll survive. You guys thought Seneca was going to die? <laughs> this guy's the protagonist of this game. <laughs> He's, he he's, was so close. If that stomp doesn't hit him, uh, and, and, like he was just about to get the burst strike out with the epicenter, he, he kills Chessie, guaranteed. 
I don't know why I find this so funny. It's just he, <laughs> they could just kind of crawls around on the map. Nobody really pays attention to him. He gets ulties off, then casually TPs in front of a tower. And nobody targets him. Sineko, I feel like, is is a little bit of a hit and miss support. But when he's on roamers like this, he just seems to always hit hard. Yeah, it's really entertaining right now. He's, he's like the anti-milk, 3-0-10. If he can get the 20 assists, then we have the real Sineko. The way a support should be played. Or, and I'm okay uh, with him getting more kills right now. Buff up the Sand King. Uh, this Dendi's how, really how, would, how would you buff it? Like, with all this money from Sineko, do you even, like, just go <laughs> Veil of Discord and amplify everything? Yes. Yeah. That Veil is exactly the build. That's... Yeah, you don't even have, like, any other magic damage, oh, but Sineko behind. by himself. Chessie goes to the Chrono, he catches that Arsenal as well as the Yura, but there's just no damage on Chessie. You'll have the committal out, but then the Shallow Grave, Arsenal buys more time. d going to turn the Lycan like form, and they're in through the rear. The fight is going to be split up. Swindles might be able to find himself one kill. The Norman gets taken care of by Navi and Swindles. Chains away. General is low, but they're finding the punch of the machine to Chessie. He's we got the bash. The line. They finally get him. No, no. won the battle. They may not have won the <laughs> war, got, but they won the battle. <laughs> they Dude, that's a moral Seneco. victory as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> they stopped Seneco? Is that, is that what they needed? That's not it. again, man. Oh. Oh, there were so many things that went wrong there. Lycan barely survives. Swindles kills himself on the Necrobook. The, the egg barely, barely dies before it explodes. Swindles misses the chain in the very beginning of that, so, it's, so they, that was actually the start of the things going bad for Complexity. He misses the chain, which means they can't kill the, the Dazzle inside of the, the Chronosphere, and he gets off Shallow Grave. Complexity right now are kind of at a loss because I don't think they expected to lose any of these fights early on. You have some of the sickest team fight that you can possibly get, the Phoenix plus the ET combination uh, in conjunction with the Chronosphere. That should be nine times out of ten a free team fight win, no matter how far of a net worth lead you are behind. but. It's just all of these little things that aren't going their way. Like, Seneco almost getting out there is pretty telling of this game right now. Seneco's playing amazing. Complexity, not oh, so much. He just oh, blinked into dead again. this. Well, when it rains, it pours complexity gold all over sure. Na'Vi. And now they even slipped themselves into Roshan because they committed the level two Necrobooks to help get the kill on the Blinking Queen of Pain. It's just... Olympus had such a rough game, and a lot of it is just, you know, he goes to the rune, doesn't have vision. They're coming. This is still a very tough have a team. Name. Damage for this? Very tough team to do Roshan against, but... It's like Swindles wants to go in. He's slowing it down. Z-Freak with the Spirit once again. Roshan's low. Who's going to get the kill? It belongs to the Radiant. Lycan gets the Aegis the Immortal. And Na'Vi will retreat. Necro 3 now on that Lycan. Dendi doesn't even have to really scale towards the Lycan. He can just be that presence in the middle of team fights where he spams out rockets while everybody is dying. And he's just like, all right, cool. Because there's nothing that Complexity can really do uh, short of using the Chronos around him. And with his Blink Dagger, he should almost never get caught out. How do you actually even fight in? Like, you, you mentioned that Swindles killed himself in a Necro book. Uh, you've now got two level three Necro books out from Malvi. Oh, this is the worst scenario for the Timber Saw, where you haven't made that progression in Mana Sustain, and uh, you're facing up against Mana Burn. He's just going to run out of uh, run out of power so quickly. And he may kill himself on Necronomicon skin. Yeah. Rinse and repeat. Dendi just pushes out that top lane. They finally get it. the Orchid, but I don't think that means anything. It kind of doesn't. Mainly just because Seneco's always going to counter initiate on you and blow you up. It's not even like the Queen of Pain. Her timing is a little bit behind, but just everybody from Navi so far. Like a Necro 3 Vlad's on. All right, it finds the TP's coming in. The rolls are over on Chess. Nice they want to take the Chrono out. Then he's in there. Is the damage going to be enough? The Chrono Sphere. It nice. catches General, but Swindle's being mopped up. The Sonic Wave will connect for General. It takes rips for Chessie to kill him, even with an Echo Saber up his sleeve. The Nova will pop up now from Hans. Sineko's here. Sineko! Yeah. 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 All over him. Goodbye, Lin. The double rockets from Dendi. Z-Freak, you can split everything you want, but he does it defensively. Dendi's right behind him. He's actually diving so over the team for Towers. Yo, boys, not your home. Bail out now. 
You're going a little bit too deep, especially with the buyback out from the Void. Uh, I mean, you got a buyback out of the Void, though. <laughs> That's good enough. That is, like, even Dying better than best case power. scenario. Something you almost happens. completely wiped their team, only the ET lives, and you got the buyback out on the Void at just 20 minutes into the game. <laughs> they lose two side heroes that they don't really care about. There was a half a second where I was like, Wait, is this actually going to go Complexity's way? And then Sinead, uh, then I hear the whoop, 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 and all of a sudden Sineko makes his appearance. I was like, okay, it's yeah. over. Now this is, as well as he's played, this has been a really free game for him. Like his team has set a, him up for success. Yeah. They hold in the team fights. They create a lot of chaos. Then there's no way that Complexity oh, can prepare for us. He's dead again. Sineko actually Boris strikes him while Swindles is mid timber chain. Dendi comes in to help out. General's all over it. And they could just keep going everywhere. Ward Vision is everywhere. And Zebrick walks up underneath another one. Again, Seneko's your frontline man. He goes for the stomp. Seneko force does that just in case. But that even doesn't have an effect. The walls will scatter at limp. As well as Hanskin running down south. And that just opens up Navi to push mid. Complexity on full tilt. There's no other way to say it. Like Zebrick literally he was still in the, the neighborhood where his brother got shot. Like there's no reason to stick around with Navi just took out to your bro. I don't know. There's, okay, so this top lane's gonna get pushed in now by this Lycan. He's got Necrobook 3, I mean, this... There's not a lot to analyze. They're just getting picked off around the map. They're losing objectives at the same time. Dagon completed now on Dendi. Run over. Demolished. Trampled. You trying to find any other... Uh, you could just keep, we could just keep repeating the same phrases with different uh, synonyms, but... This is just a clean... Navi. I think this is the best game that I've seen them play throughout this entire day. They're looking for more. I still love how Swindus believes he has oh, no confidence God. to be oh, here. <laughs> Senna. Right now, Seneko has taken up making. That's the icing on the cake against Timbersaw. And they run in. They're going to go for the tier 3 tower as well. 22 minutes. Pycat be genius. He was not far off. <laughs> They just keep going for more, and Complexity, like you can't stop this, you blink up. They release by General, they get the Orphan over on the Beast Master, yeah, but he can't kill him fast there. They've got their back, Denny's sort of initiated over the Roar and Husk, and the damage isn't there, the ET Split is coming, with the Shadow Grave, make sure Denny stays alive. You fight back over on the Phoenix, but really, what's going to achieve? Chassis actually has to hide up on the hillside, but Tomeko is there to join him. As